before the film starts. We learn that four great countries have governed the world for centuries. They are the elements of fire, air, water, and earth. However, the country proclaimed itself superior a century ago and launched a war on the other three countries. It now wants to dominate the whole planet on its own. In the opening scene, a young boy named Sokka and his younger sister Katara are depicted as members of the Southern Water Tribe. The area is completely covered in snow and surrounded by freezing water waves. The siblings are now attempting to hunt some animals for sustenance. They come to an exciting iceberg after wandering for quite some distance. A bright ray of light appeared when they burst through the iceberg revealing a 12-year-old kid called on. He has a distinguishing head tattoo and a massive flying companion named Abba. Recognizing the boy's exhaustion, the siblings return him to their hamlet. On the other hand, the ray of light captures the notice of Juko, the disgraced prince of the Fire Nation. He was supposedly expelled from the kingdom for being too frail. As a result, he is on a quest to discover the Avatar, the only person capable of wielding all four elemental powers air, water, earth, and fire. Zuko's only option is to prove himself and regain his dignity, enabling him to return to his family. In the next scene, Juko and his warriors follow the light beam and arrive at the Southern Water Tribe to demand the Avatar. This puts the locals, the majority of whom are elderly, in jeopardy. Despite her youth, Katara attempts to utilize her water-bending ability to defy the Fire Nation, but her brother intervenes. When faced with the possibility of damage to the people, Aung gladly surrenders himself to protect them. He is subsequently transported aboard their ship, where he meets Tuko's uncle, Iroh. The latter counterbalances Tuko's sharp tongue and rash fury. Iroh wants to see whether Ong is the right guy for them, so he decides to take a test. Initially, he sets a candle before Ong, causing the flame to rise. Following that, he pours some water, which, to his surprise, takes on a round form on its own. Finally, a stone delivered to Ong balances vertically, owing to his intrinsic ability. These tests prove that the youngster is the Avatar. Meanwhile, back in the Water Tribe, Katara confides in her brother, underscoring the importance of their role in protecting Aang. They also speak with their grandmother, who recognizes the boy's tattoo as an Avatar and begs them to save him from the Fire Nation. With this knowledge, Sokka and Katara board Appa and set off on their perilous journey to save On. On the ship, Chuko and Iroh resolve to deliver On to their realm in order to restore Zuko's prestige. When On hears this, he becomes outraged and utilizes his airbending skills to incapacitate all the guards in his way. The siblings come on the flying beast and save him as well. The group then proceeds to Ong's hometown, the Southern Air Temple. Ong discovers that he has been trapped in the iceberg for a century, during which the Fire Nation has exterminated all other air nomads, including his protector, Monk Jatso. Desperate, Ang enters the Avatar state and travels to the spirit world, where he meets a dragon spirit. Katara's pleadings, however, stop the child in his tracks before he can do anything wrong. Following that, the party travels to an Earth Kingdom hamlet to check on the remaining people. They learn that the Fire Nation has total control of the settlement when they arrive. Soon after, Several soldiers discover them and jail them with the rest of the Earthbenders. When Ang sees the enslaved villagers, he gives an uplifting speech, urging them to believe in their own strengths and use them to fight for their freedom. Eventually, the three young heroes succeed in inciting a revolt, encouraging the people to join arms against the Fire Nation warriors. They eventually triumph, freeing the town from tyranny, 
thanks to their combined efforts. Following this, Ang informs Katara and Sokka that he has only mastered airbending and is unskilled in the other three elemental arts. He explains that he left the monastery without training in order to live a regular life. According to Ong, he was taught that becoming the Avatar entails enormous sacrifices, such as isolation from family and all other things that ordinary people may enjoy. But now that he understands his obligations to the countries, he wishes to master the last three elemental abilities. With this unshakable resolve, the three set off for the Northern Water Tribe, where Ong may learn from skilled waterbenders. They quickly halt beside a lake to spend the night on their route. Ong chooses to visit a neighboring Northern Air Temple shortly after, telling the siblings that he will return within a day. When Ong arrives, he encounters a peasant he initially regarded as an ally. However, the peasant's true allegiance is quickly revealed he is a member of the Fire Nation. Ang is quickly apprehended by troops and handed over to Zhao, the ruthless leader of the Fire Nation. Soon later, a mystery guy wearing a blue demon mask infiltrates the temple and battles the guards in order to free on. This masked assailant refers to himself as the Blue Spirit. When Commander Zhao learns of the intrusion, he sends his men to stop them. But the Blue Spirit and An band together to repel the soldiers. When Commander Zhao issues an order not to harm the Avatar, the Blue Spirit seizes Ong at knife point to ensure their escape. Zhao soon understands that the Blue Spirit is none other than Zuko. In retaliation, he orders his crossbowman to kill Zuko with a well-aimed shot. However, Ong uses his talents to escape with the comatose Zuko before the troops can catch them. Ong watches over him until the morning, when he goes to rejoin his brothers. Soon later, Zuko regains consciousness and returns to his uncle, Iroh. Conversely, Commander Zhao informs the king about Zuko's involvement. He says that he had the Avatar abducted, but Zuko interfered and ruined his intentions. Surprisingly, the monarch does not get enraged, and he orders the commander to leave his son alone. He feels Zuko is still naive and hence does not need punishment. Zhao, Unable to endure Zuko on his journey, seeks to murder him by blowing up the whole ship. Fortunately, Zuko makes it out alive. Meanwhile, Ong, Sokka, and Katara arrive in the Northern Water Tribe, where they are greeted warmly. They introduce themselves to the royal court, where Ong demonstrates that he is the last airbender gaining him permission to learn with the master. Ang is subsequently introduced to a water-bending teacher called Paku, who begins teaching both Ang and Katara advanced water-bending methods. Sokka and Princess Yue of the Northern Water Tribe bar pulled to one another during their training, allegedly experiencing love at first sight. Apart from that, the kingdom is aware of the approaching conflict and has begun to prepare for it. Their suspicions are confirmed a few days later when the Fire Nation, led by Commander Zhao, arrives at the Northern Water Tribe and prepares to attack. While Zhao concentrates on the tribe, Chuko enters the Northern Water Kingdom and continues his hunt for the Avatar. Meanwhile, Princess Yue takes Song to a peaceful area where he can meditate. Once there, Ang re-enters the Avatar state and starts searching for the Dragon Spirit in order to get assistance in defeating the Fire Nation. Princess Yue and Sokka go to investigate the situation outside, while Katara stays with Ang to protect his safety. A short time later, Duko locates the meditation location and engages Katara in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Despite successfully neutralizing many of his fire attacks, Kotara is eventually defeated by Zuko, who then kidnaps Ong. Ong locates the Dragon Spirit in the Spirit Realm, 
Who encourages him to utilize the ocean to demonstrate the power of water to the Fire Nation? Ang returns to his physical form, armed with this knowledge, only to be met by Zuko. They instantly fight, with Ang utilizing his air-bending ability and the prince using his fire-mixing power. The fight continues until Katara intervenes, turning Zuko into a solid block of ice. Following that, they go to join the current combat. Commander Jaws versus attacked outside, causing havoc among the northern tribe. The waterbenders are doing all they can to halt the Fire Nation warriors, but it is inaccessible due to their overwhelming number of soldiers. Commander Zhao and Iroh find their way inside a holy cave amid the chaos. There, the commander catches the moon spirit the Holy Spirit of the Water Kingdom. Without it, the people have no power at all. Iroh tries to stop him from tampering with nature, sensing his dark intentions. On the other hand, Commander Zhao disregards his advice and kills the Moon Spirit, causing all waterbenders to lose their talents. The commander now feels that taking over the northern and southern water tribes will be considerably more straightforward. Iroh, enraged by Zhao's sacrilegious deed, demonstrates his skill at firebending. This frightens the commander and his followers, causing them to flee the holy cave. Following that, Iroh underlines the significance of preserving nature's equilibrium and indicates that there may be a method to repair the environment. When Princess Yue hears this, she vows to sacrifice herself in order to resurrect the moon spirit. Sokka attempts to stop her, but the princess has made her decision. She kisses him for the first and last time before sacrificing herself for the sake of her people. The waterbenders restore their talents and resume their fight against the Fire Nation moments later. Following that, Commander Zhao and Zuko eventually meet. Iroh intervenes as the two prepare for their ultimate fight. Still furious by what transpired, he requests that his nephew stand aside. Following this, the waterbenders exact their revenge, drowning Zhao to death fueled by rage at the loss of their princess and the defilement of the moon spirit. Despite this, the fight is far from over as the Fire Nation warriors continue their march on their ships toward the Northern Water Tribe. Ang reflects on his old life before imprisonment in the iceberg, recalling his childhood among the air nomads. He then enters the Avatar form again and utilizes his vast strength to elevate the ocean into a massive barrier, forcing the surviving Fire Nation warriors to retreat. This causes the Fire Nation to withdraw, stopping the fight for now. Following this occasion, Ang is brought to the assembled crowd, who showed their homage by bowing before him. In the climactic scene, Chuko's father, Fire Lord Ozai, appoints his daughter, Princess Azula, to keep the Avatar from controlling Earth and Fire. 